the uh, Seminole pumpkin has grown more than I ever imagined. I only grew one pumpkin in my life that was in Colorado, so I'm surprised that it's done so well. I'm thinking maybe because it's a seed that was bought here right in this county and that Seminole pumpkins are native to the area. Anyway, it's starting to uh, sneak out of the fence here and go into the front part of the yard. And today I realized when I saw these dried brown leaves that that must be meaning that some of them are ready to be picked because that's how you tell the leaves get dried up. And also there's another way to tell, let me show here. Here's today's harvest. Now, <clears throat> There's this tiny, curly, little, I don't know what to call it, this thing here. And when the one closest to the, the fruit gets dried up, here's the dried up one. See, it's closest to the fruit and it's dry. That means it's ready to pick. And it was very difficult trying to cut this stem. It's like seems like it's like uh, fossilized wood so I had to cut it over here anyway uh, that's the same way you know when watermelon is ready when the curly thing here is is dried the one that's closest to the fruit so I hope these aren't too hard to cut open I read online that they should be on a sunny windowsill for a few days uh, can you imagine how much these would cost in the store? You know, they're usually like $1.39 a pound, and they're, they're pretty heavy. Anyway, keep trying whatever you're doing. It feels great when something finally works.